Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about an introduction to the role and function of central banks. In this video we're going to look at the role and the function of central banks in the economy and what we're going to start off with is a basic definition of what a central bank is. So a central bank is an institution that oversees and regulates the banking system and controls what we call the monetary base. So this is the currency in circulation in the economy, in bank uh, vaults and in with the central bank as well. For Europe we have the central bank of the European Central Bank and this is located in Frankfurt in Germany. So this controls the euro system and it controls the money supply based on euro between 19 member countries currently. And what this system actually entails is, it's where the national central banks remain, but they play a secondary role. So the new system that we have is called the European system of central banks. So this means that the individual banks, the national banks out there, are now under the thumb of the European central bank. So they dictate policy for the core of Europe based on uh, the decisions made within that central bank. Now, the Eurozone itself, or the Euro area, is an economic and monetary union, an EMU, of 19 EU member states that have adopted the Euro currency as their sole legal tender. So some of the big countries that have stayed out include Sweden and the UK and Denmark, for example. So since the 1st of January 1999, the European Central Bank has been responsible for conducting monetary policy for the Euro area. And what this really means is they filter and they control the release of money into the system. So they're the ones that regulate the amount of money supply, the monetary base that goes into the Euro area and the 19 countries involved. To do this, uh, what they do is they have to remain independent from national governments. So they don't want the ECB printing off money as soon as a national government wants this. The ECB, the core uh, aspect here is that they're independent. They don't listen and they don't take pressure from governments, from town hall in this case here. And that, that uh, ensures that the central bank doesn't overprint money and monetize government debt. Their primary function then is to maintain price stability. So ma maintain stability in what's called a harmonized consumer price index. And the rate that they target is 2%. So a 2% inflation target year on year will keep inflation and the money supply ticking over at a regular rate. This is achieved through the implementation of monetary policy for the euro area, which we have a detailed video on, video on coming up next. However, in general, what monetary policy means is it's an open market operation or open market repurchases of government bonds, so OMO in this case here. And this is the European Central Bank buying and selling government bonds from national, uh, from commercial and retail banks in different nations throughout the euro area. So purchases of government bonds in this case here. Now a government bond is very much like an IOU from a government. So it's how they borrow money on financial markets. So they issue certificates or bonds and these can be traded on secondary financial markets thereafter. Now, how much is actually bought is decided by a body called the Governing Council and the Executive Board. And there are members from each country's national bank represented here, and they can vote on changes in the interest rate and changes in these uh, OMOs or repurchase of bonds. Now, the European Central Bank does have a lot of other objectives. So here are some secondary objectives that they also undertake. They conduct what we call foreign exchange operations. So they can buy and sell the currency, the euro and other currencies. They also promote the smooth operation of payment systems within the banking system. They can hold and they can manage the official foreign reserves of the euro area. So they can trade these to prop up the exchange rate. They have an advisory function to advise banks. They also issue under the sole body that issues the euro banknotes. They can collect and compile statistics, which are very important to inform policy. And they have, uh, they 
uh, engage in international cooperation with other central banks. They also supervise uh, financial stability in the economy. So they're supposed to supervise and regulate this. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.